Tonight's guest, I've been looking forward to getting this man on for a long time. This is real, a real special night for me, I'll tell you. He's from north of the north of the border where uh, whiskey's made. It's his favourite drink as well, I might add, surprisingly. He is a true Scotchman in every sense of the word. He's played for Glasgow Celtic. Yes, Glasgow Celtic. He's done stand-up comedy. Yes, stand-up comedy. He really fancies himself as a Billy Montcomley. He's, I mean, that's a clue in itself. He's met the Queen. He's been to Thailand on his own for six weeks. And we'll ask him about that later. You might think this sounds like a real Jack the Lad, but no, I want to welcome tonight County Club Chaplain. Some might say Club Charlie Chaplin, but I don't. Here we are, Billy Montgomery. Yes, Billy. Come on, okay. Billy, give us a clap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, the oh, you told me that. No, I tried it in Jones, is not it? Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Next one, Rod. That's the first thing. Yeah, yeah. Sack the. Hey, make a note. Sack the researcher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Billy, oh, welcome yes. tonight on Thank the Casting you, Couch. Yes. Um, I think that was a good, uh, a good intro. Would yeah, you agree? Yeah, with that? yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, good. all the facts are. You know, I never let the facts spoil a good story. No, you don't. And there's a, there's a few things in there that we're going to talk about. Yeah, and Baelish. Baelish. We've known each other a long time now. In fact, we were talking just before, and um, you said that your first game was at uh, QPR. Yeah, well, well it wasn't when my first. That, that was my first season. Ah, right. So that okay. was the last game of the season. That so was it was like season, it's yeah. fourteen years now. Fourteen years. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, that, that is incredible. I mean, a Scot- and we've we've had plenty of conversations over the years. Haven't we, we have. Yeah. We have some oh, good ones. Haven't yeah, we? yeah, yeah. I mean, a Scotchman. And an Englishman, and that's one of them because yeah. every time, and he's not going to do it because I know he won't no, buy because no, this no. this has actually been in got the program. Know, yeah. I've this, got to know you. Yeah. <laughs> a Scotchman. Now, talk talk me through that. What you not actually like being called Scotchman? Because when I when I've uh, announced uh, called him a Scotchman, he's gone. I can't even do a Scotch voice. He goes. No, that's a drink. We're Scotsmen. And I always go, Scotsman. yeah, I know that. That's why I call it, because I always get a bite off a Scotsman. I but I've stopped biting, I <laughs> You do, but... <laughs> After what? 14 years, I've stopped biting. <laughs> yeah, he has. It's took him some time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right, what, um, what I want to talk about yeah. is, you've not always been in the church, have you? No. No. Could you just give us a brief history of, of yourself, what, what you've done hmm. from... From, you know, from way back. Uh, well, not that you're old, Billy, by any means. <laughs> you know. um, I left school at 16 and got a job as a trainee accountant. Yeah. Uh, at which point I was playing football as well. All ah, right. So and talk us, bring in the football, the football, the, well, the Rangers connection. Well, I played for the Rangers youth team and spent about a year on uh, Rangers books and then got released. Got a bit disillusioned a little bit um, mm. and then ended up playing junior football in Scotland, which is a bit like non-league down here. Right. So just let's go back to the Rangers thing. What yeah. did you? Were you actually like an apprentice or something? No, I was in a difficult position because it was the days when they used to sign S forms, schoolboy forms. And what is that? Um, schoolboy forms. A schoolboy yeah. form. You yeah. had to still be at school. Yeah, um, those, yeah. And because I had left school at sixteen and gone to work, right? They they wanted to sign me on a a schoolboy form. Um, which would hold me at a certain time, but because I wasn't at school, they couldn't do that. So they actually had to offer me a full contract right and they weren't prepared to do that so right. they allowed me to train with them and play with them for a year yeah and then after a year decided to to let me go what position did you play uh center half played and with john mcdonald I, I was just going to bring that up because um we, we, we were looking at what brought that up once in a couple uh, i think i went to visit barnsley i went to visit barnsley there football picture, club and i saw it. a picture of you and the Barnsley team with John McDonald. Yeah, that's right. I played who played in the same team as, as Rangers. Well, that's right, yeah. yeah, yeah good luck. Yeah. Good, yeah, I played with him a year or so, John, yeah. yeah. So then, what happened after that then? Where, um, did, you, where did your career go from there? Well, um, when I didn't make the grade with Rangers, I began to ask some serious questions, I suppose, about life. And I was in a routine of going to work every day. Uh, five days a week, getting blitz with my mates at the weekend. Really? And then waking up to Monday morning. Yeah. And I thought missing the whole weekend. Yeah, bit like a rock star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, do you think it was? Do you think the the thing that that sort of made you go down that that path that you just described was it? Was it the disappointment of not being a footballer? No, I think the disappointment helped me to reevaluate 
what I was looking for in life and what life was all about. And was that sort of helping you find it? You think? Uh, that didn't well that's part of our journey it wasn't until mm. I came in mm. touch with a couple of people um, who introduced me to Christianity and yeah. the fact that there was more to life because yeah. that was how I felt at that point you know do you just work drink kick the bucket at the end of yeah, it and I yeah. felt that I had to we, do which a lot life. of people do don't they yeah. and, and it's it's not a, it's not really a great path to follow is it yeah is it Dave, our uh, <laughs> our audience <laughs> so that was how and I, Dan the cameraman <laughs> no so, so that's how I get into it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So how did you start all that then? What 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 were your first steps to, to, to undertaking this career? Well, uh, in terms of making a commitment, that just happened in my own bedroom where I just, I, I made a very simple prayer and asked God to come into my life and change my life. Mm. Um, Was there anybody who influenced you in that in that way? There were some people who invited me to one or two meetings and mm. I initially went to take the mickey out of them. So I tried to take the mickey and have a laugh, yeah. but um, when you came home and sat in your own company and thought about some of the it stuff that you objective. said, it became, became real. Yeah. Yeah. So I continued to work um, as a, a trainee accountant, which I did for four years. Yeah. Um, and then I felt I wanted to do something more by way of vacation. So I went to a Bible college for three years. Right. Uh, was that not, full time or was it? It was full time. Working? Yeah, it was full time. Not to go into the ministry, just right. to, to look at what I might do. And then towards the end of the three years. Was this in Glasgow? Yeah. Yeah. There were people who said to me, We think you should consider the ministry. So yeah. as a result of what they said to me, I began to explore it. Mm. Um so I that's what I did. I, right. I went into the ministry. And funnily enough, my first church was down here because I came down to Poynton. Oh, yeah. And I became the assistant minister in Poynton. And you were down in London as well, weren't you, at one time? Because I remember yeah. staying in a hotel and you were telling me we were going to the game on the yeah. Saturday. And you were, was it? Um, near Essex, near South End. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember you saying about yeah. that. So I had three years as an assistant in Poynton and then yeah. I moved down to Essex for 10 years. And during the 10 years, Poynton started a new church in Hazel Grove. Mm. And when it got a bit established, they mm. asked me if I would come back oh, up. Oh, Billy and here's me thinking that you knew I'd signed for Stockport and you'd come up just for that, oh, eh? I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you. No, blimey, I mean, all these years I've been thinking that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, just get a T-shirt. So <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so then you've, been, you've, you've got, just just tell us about the church and give it a plug, let's, let's, because yeah, it's, it's a bit slightly different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I should come myself, I've not been, but I've heard good words yeah, about yeah. it. It's not what people would think is a kind of traditional idea of um, church so it's not a traditional building yeah. um, which I do like by the way yeah, when I do go to all these I know I am yeah, yeah. 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 it's yeah. more like a warehouse and right. we've got like an auditorium in it we've got about a five or six piece span everything goes through a computer multimedia video yeah, yeah. get between three and four hundred people every week yeah so, well that doesn't surprise me because yeah. you're a very uh, you're a very forward looking man yeah. and I'm just going to add so you do your in your format you still do you still have a bit of a format where you, like the traditional ones where you do a sermon yeah I would yeah. speak for about 25 yeah. minutes have I ever featured in this yeah I think I thought <laughs> I could <laughs> yeah do you remember what it was or not I do oh dear oh, I right. remember mm. talking about People who lie, basically. But, well, just let me tell you before you say that, we we can cut edit this to make it look really good. <laughs> no, go on, carry on. I talked about Roger Well being the biggest wind up merchant. Right, and right. We had a bit of a laugh about right, that. Right, yeah, yeah. So we do that, but we also run the furniture station at uh, our place. So we recycle furniture. Seen them. And it adds food in Brennington and yeah. other parts of the, the borough. Right. We have, do you, that. have you got any casting couch you might be able to buy? Because these are a bit worn out at the no, moment. No, but I've got, uh, well, I don't know, we could maybe sort it yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, let's get along there. We all ought to yeah, go yeah. there and swear right. to like 4,000 people. Yeah, yeah. We'll get all the county fans We've got a food there. bank and everything. Uh, We've had Vernon the Bear came yeah. to one of my kids' services. Who yeah. was Vernon the Bear at that time? Mr. Bellis. Um, not Steve, his not brother. Martin. Martin, that's no. it. Can you remember, did you go to China that time? With us? No, I didn't get invited. Oh, he was brilliant. I was here at that time, I think. The it. Chinese loved him. That's yeah. about the only trip you didn't get invited. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Gutted, that was I a great was trip. Great. That was a great trip. But we've yeah. had some good ones. Yeah, we have, haven't we? We've, yeah. had some, we've had some good good laughs and things, yeah. So, we've you've seen a few managers, haven't you? You said Andy Kilner oh, was your first. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go through them. We've, we've, had Andy, we've had Andy Kilner, then we had Carlton. Mm-hmm. 
And then we had Chris. You missed Gary Megson, didn't you? Then I missed. I just came in yeah. before yeah. Yeah, after Gary yeah. Megson. Yeah. Is there any stories about any of the managers that you uh, that you remember or, or or think were funny or or strange or whatever? Uh, I, I think just I, I think they all had their own personalities don't they they did and part of me was being naive so sometimes I would get caught out but I'd only get caught out by you a lot once so <laughs> Jim Garren when we were on the team bus James. whenever we were James. <laughs> whenever we were near a ground the ground would be sitting there with the floodlights now and the first time it happened to me he would say the ground's got to be around here somewhere and I stupidly went yeah that's, it's right there mm. Gaffer it's mm. right there mm. Everybody burst out laughing. Yeah, yeah, that comes out. That used to come out every trip, actually. Yeah, the bus driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I fell for it. Yeah, so that was a good one. Yeah. Um, you've been to Thailand. Yeah, I did last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just all, all I want you to do with this is answer yes or no. Yeah. Okay. Went to Thailand. Did you go on your own? Remember, remember what I've just said. For part uh, of the time. Uh, did you go on your own? I had. Um, <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> I had. <laughs> I look, winding Billy up. He's trying to get out of this one. Four I weeks know why on you. Listen, 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 I know why you went there. I had, and I'm just trying to put you in a position, had, and then we'll explain. I had four weeks in one, and during you? that time, I had two Thai massage. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know that one. <laughs> I didn't know that no, one. I know you then. I was trying to wind him up. You see, say yes, I did go on my own for six weeks, but he didn't. He went for four, and then your wife came. Yeah, out yeah, two weeks old. Yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell us what you were doing out there because um, it was for a real good cause. Yeah, well, every every seven years when you're in the ministry, you get an opportunity to take up to three months off and go and do something completely different. So, I've done two things while well, I've been at County. The first time I went to study chaplaincy in New Zealand and Australia, and this last time I went to work in an orphanage. Mm in Thailand so yeah. which must have been fantastic yeah well it was certainly basic humbling. it was humbling. totally humbling yeah so quite a few of the kids had lost their parents in mm. the tsunami and stuff like mm. that mm. Um, and it was a really good experience yeah I bet I it was bet. great every time you went in at the toilet at night it was interesting to think what creepy crawly you were what was meet. lurking up there <laughs> yeah. some little snake yeah, crawling yeah. in and out yeah 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 fantastic. Cobras. yeah, yeah. Right, so as I said before, <coughs> you've been at County a long time. Mm -hmm. Describe your role to our thousands of viewers. Okay. At your role at County. Okay, well, I first came in um, to work with the apprentices. Mm. So the idea was the PFA brought out an educational course um, for the youngsters and they wanted some people to teach some modules in personal development. Um, the youth coaches were too busy to do anything like that. So well, there's loads of tea to be drunk, isn't there? <laughs> come on. <laughs> so sorry, Maddo. <laughs> they needed someone to come in, so I I came and had a meeting with Nigel Daly at the time, yeah. and we agreed that I would come in for a kind of probationary period, and work just with the youngsters. So yeah. it was a matter of um, building up friendships with them, yeah. uh, knowing that I was available to them. And then maybe teaching them one or two things on self development and bullying and so And like to disc any, discuss any problems that might yeah. 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 But because the youth team trained at the same training ground as the first team, yeah. um, Bish began to introduce me as a club chaplain. So it kind well, of so that's grew not true from there. there. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. <laughs> and I've introduced you as a club uh, Charlie Chaplin. That's uh, scandalous. Uh, so we blame Bish for that then. So at the end of the first season, I went to Gary Glenn Denning and said, look, Gary, people are calling me a club Chaplin. I don't know if that's what you want. And, 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 and they it's said... It's in the programme, isn't it? It yeah. says that in the programme, so, I just remembered. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's, that's, how it, that's how it came about. Yeah. And it spiralled to the first team. Yeah. Um, a lot of the early managers, um, because they were a bit suspicious, I think, a Chaplin say... Um, suspicious, suspicious yeah. of the, uh, the 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 chaplain, the vicar. That cannot be true. You well, you must be held up there in high esteem. No, it takes a wee while to trust people. <laughs> well, I don't know if you've ever seen Bla Black Adder with the Bishop of Bath and Wells and the big the big hot rod, but we'll not go there. I mean, nothing like that. Oh yeah, the big no. the burning rod. No. And I will stick this somewhere. Where? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. No. Yeah, so I, yeah. I think it was under. Uh, Jim Gannon and Peter Ward that they said to me you know if you want to travel with the team uh, you can and I found that really helpful just yeah. getting to know the players well I've got to say in many a long trip we've sat there laughing haven't yeah, we yeah. you know I mean we have had some laughs we have. because your job and my job is slightly detached from the uh, well I don't, I don't like to use this word but seriousness of of the football inside 
Yeah. Uh, and we, we, we could sort of see things a little bit differently. And we, because we've always had discussions and had some laughs. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've had some, we've been creased up laughing yeah, at yeah. some of the things in the And you're, a, you're not unlike a uh, surrogate chaplain. Oh, well, do you know what? I was I'm thinking, I, yes, I was, yeah, because that, I do, that happens to me as yeah. well. Because people talk when they're they in do, don't they? They yeah. do, they do, and, and, and that's one thing I was going to say to you, but I'll ask you that question later, and I think I know the answer anyway, but, mm. um, but yeah, I, I, I get lads talking to me, and what I was going to ask you without actually, um, you know, uh, breaching any confidentiality, uh, rules that you you have. Yeah. Is there any strange confessions or sad, really, without mentioning names that, that that's happened, which you've not even told me about before tonight? I don't so much know so much about strange. There's the common ones where people have experienced bereavement and just mm. need someone to, yeah. to talk to, um, or the other common ones are either players that are injured or players that are out of favour with the manager. They tend to talk because mm. they're a bit fed up and cheesed off. Mm. Um, I did have one here where one of the youngsters' father, um, one of the youngsters got into a lot of trouble here and um, his father at the time was suffering from a mental illness right. that the staff didn't know about. Right. So the youngster and I sat down and we agreed that it would be helpful for the mm. staff to know what was going on because mm. that could help them understand his reaction in the pitch because mm. he'd clobbered someone on the pitch. Right. And it was out of character. Yeah. And I think he was just frustrated and angry with what was going on. Yeah. So we told the staff what was going yeah. on. Yeah. So that's the kind of stuff that, yeah. that comes yeah. my way. Which sometimes players in those sort of situations can't actually come to us because they, they really don't see us as part of that because we're, we're sort of a... Uh, what we, we, we apply rules and things yeah. and, and they probably don't see beyond that really. Yeah. Yeah. And I think being at Ibrox for um, a year helped me see that because as a youngster, if I had any problems... I would never have gone into the football stand because no, you feel yeah. as if it's going against you yeah. or you don't know what yeah. they're thinking no, about I, you. I agree because as a young lad your mind works totally yeah. different. So you give them a white mature. bear. Yeah, no, that's yeah. true. I mean, I, I've spoken to you about the this confession I had last well, over a year ago now. One player came to me and said they didn't want to be a footballer anymore yeah. and uh, couldn't sleep at night and um, I, I, get, I listened and gave him some advice and He's now playing for West Ham United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I know. Yeah, West Ham United. We were just talking about that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good lad. Right. Um, so, I remember one story, which I don't think you're you're expecting this question. You're not expecting this question. This is a great. I can't wait. I've been dying to ask him this. This one. is the one you go on about all oh, the time. You said you were going to put it in your book. Can you never? Oh, wait. which one is it? All right, go on. All right, no, go on. all right. You tell me now. Right, okay. No, no, go right. on. Cash your mind back a few years. What's your son's name, by the way? Craig. Craig. Cash your mind back a few years when you and your wife were in bed. Oh! <laughs> he doesn't know it's not that one. <laughs> he doesn't know it's that one. <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, yeah. This is yeah, fantastic. Yeah. This a is a good story. one. Yeah, yeah. And he's gone red. Yeah, yeah. Get, get a fan. Get a fan. Oh, Look at it. He's a gone out of red. It's a great story. It's a great story. Go on. I'd say no more. I'm right, go, on. On. go on. Tell us. So, my wife and I went to bed one night. I, I can't Just remember. Just disproving many thoughts that people of the cloth don't indulge in. I can't. This sort of <laughs> I can't remember how old. I think it was about seven. Mm. And, uh, I was only young. I just my wife and I went to bed one night and we've like had mad passion serious passion <laughs> and uh, we're lying there this is after after yeah, it's all cigar uh, how is it for you lot? Bless it, bless it. <laughs> <laughs> we're lying there and my oh, wife said to me I hope he's sorted out his skill this is Craig this is Craig tomorrow. not not Billy <laughs> so she said I, ho I hope Craig sorted out his skill shoes never in for a more more and a wee voice from under the bed said, No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> that is and my wife funny. started laughing, Oh, they were just having a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he remember it? Yeah. Actually, he's been to me. He's not going to be No, no, no. no dirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's on pills. Oh, brilliant. That is fantastic. Take the tablet. Yeah, yeah. That is great. <laughs> And another question, which yeah, I think yeah. this is the one that this is the one that he thought I was going. He wasn't expecting that yeah. last one, right? Just after Christmas, right about this time, actually, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and yeah. I went, I don't know what it was. And I went, Billy, Billy was knocking around. I went, Billy, when's Easter this year? 
you know, reasonable question you might think to ask ask a man of the cloth. Yeah, when's Easter? When's Christmas? We all know, yeah. But I didn't know when Easter was, and he went, no idea. I yeah? Have any idea. Didn't have any idea. No. And I thought, well, that's a Billy. That's that. I can't believe it. You're you're a man of the cloth. You should know when Easter is. You know, I mean, you would expect that, wouldn't you? So um, I found out the formula for wor working out when Easter was, yeah, wasn't it? And I'm going to tell you this, and I've not looked it up. Do you know what it is? Because I did write it I down do and said... Is. Do you? Have it's, you learnt it It's the first Sunday after the full moon that falls on or after the spring equinox. Uh, actually, that's not strictly true. He's, yeah, he's just grasping at straws here. It's, <laughs> the, it's the Sunday following the first full moon after the vernal equinox when night and day are of equal lengths. Now, yeah. everybody knows that. You'd have yeah. thought that... The, the vernal the equinox the vernal is the spring I, equinox. Well, yeah. It's the spring equinox in the northern it's hemisphere. Right. Yes, and yes, it's yes, it's yes, the right. autumn equinox in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> or autumn. It's not the spring equinox. It yeah, can't it's, be. It is. Oh, it's sorry, spring sorry, in the sorry, north. sorry, sorry. It is, yes. And it's it autumn spring. in the south. It is the spring, you're right. You're you know right. right. So I did write it down for him, and, and now Billy's learned. Yeah, yeah. Because I said, you'll never get on channel four, Radio 4 doing the Sunday morning worship at your church if you don't learn this one. I should preach on it. We, we, <laughs> ought, we ought to have a campaign as well to try and get him onto that, onto, <laughs> onto the morning worship, Sunday morning worship. Right. So, favourite memory. Oh. I always remember making you laugh after one game when you and I were carrying a skip out of the ground. Yeah. Do you remember? Hartlepool. Nearly. No. Close. Darlington. Darlington. Was Darlington. Darlington. Was Darlington. Yeah. We were carrying a skip. It was big, the heavy, big heavy skip, big heavy skip. After a game. It was the end of the season. We'd just missed out on we the playoffs. just missed out because Ricky Lambert had scored for Bristol Rovers Absolutely. in the last minute. Absolutely. And we missed out in promotion. And when we took the skip out, all the fans were round the bus and they all started singing your name. My and name, my name. We put the skip down <laughs> and you stood up on, on the skip with your hands up there. And it you was really, great. I know, I just, it was great. It was, <laughs> it was, it was great. Like a little magic time yeah, that we, yeah. we had, yeah. yeah. So, in what last question, one word, I just want one word answer. Now do you think I am vicar material? <laughs> Room for growth. Room for growth. Do you know I expected a big fat no? <laughs> <laughs> Billy Montgomery. All it's been an absolute pleasure and thanks a delight. George. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Billy Montgomery. Yes. Cheers.